people should learn Tai Chi. First of all, let's compare to some exercise we normally do. Some people said I can just walk, I can just run, I can just swim, and I can just relax or I can just do meditation. I mean, these are all great exercise, they're great relaxation. Now, Tai Chi in Chinese means the highest or the ultimate or the supreme. Tai Chi Chen means supreme exercise or supreme boxing or supreme martial arts. But then Tai Chi moved in a very slow and meditative methods. We don't just physically move. We move based on awareness of how we place our leg, how we place our foot, how we turn. So we use the mind to direct the movement. When you do that, something happens. What happens is that you actually focus on every foot that you place, every foot that you turn. And every alignment that needs to be aligned from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right, to the inner field and to the outer field. So there's a lot of work involved here when you do Tai Chi. So you're not just uh, moving, you are actually enjoying the commotion of how your body moves. So when that happens, the body creates some kind of a good feeling or a good understanding of how you do it. That feeling, in the Chinese, we call it qi, which is energy. Okay. So with your body structure correctly, if you structure correctly, we have a method in Tai Chi called the body methods of Tai Chi where we actually teach you how to structure your body, how to move your body structure so that everything is aligned. So when that happens, the energy will flow the way it's supposed to flow. That means your organs are going to function correctly because you're letting the energy flow the way it's supposed to flow through control movement and mindset. Basically, you're doing some kind of meditation that is no moving meditation as, a, as opposed to a standing or a sitting meditation or a laying down meditation. So you're doing a moving meditation. So work is involved in the body. And when, when you're doing work, you're creating energy. That energy is going to be good because, like I said, you're using the mind. So when and that mind is involved, you're going to see things. The body is going to be silent. You're going to feel things, and that feeling is going to be good. And when that happens, especially when you do the Wu Hao Tai Chi, you're going to feel the energy on your palm. You're going to feel energetic. You're going to feel like you are vibrant. You are in control. You are in charge. You're going to feel all that. And because you're going to feel all that, therefore you're going to. Uh, it definitely is going to have an optimum exercise that you're doing compared to other exercises. Because most exercises say let go of the mind, let go of everything, and just do the exercise. Tai Chi don't work that way. You need to love your body. You need to focus on your body. You need to maintain serenity in your body through your mind of understanding how the body moves. So you got to do all that. So when you do all that, you actually love in your body. And when you love your body, hey man, results comes. We don't love the body, nothing comes. It's just like you need to love someone so somebody felt love. You know, we always love people. But we haven't learned how to love ourselves. In order to love ourselves, we need to focus on our body, how we move. When you give that love, the organ is going to love you. If the organ is going to love you, the organ is going to function correctly. So how can you be sick? How can you be stressed? How can you be that? How can you be that? So basically, you're going to feel serene 
inside. So it's a say, very solemn from the inside. Then you're going to see things. You're going to see that, after all, the world is very interesting to live in because you're all in control.